quick. I just redid all of my memberships for 99 cents. You get all this cool stuff that's on screen right now. I need you to support me and help me because I really like to do. It's 2 11 in the morning. I'm almost done editing this video. But please, if you can, really appreciate it. That will help the channel out. Could this be the end of Mr. Beast? Recently, the Mr. Beast crew has been in hot water as Ava Chris Tyson, formerly Chris Tyson, was allegedly caught talking to a minor inappropriately in DMs and on an old Mr. Beast Discord server. Now, without 100% hard evidence, anything I say is only an allegation, it cannot be 100% confirmed. This whole thing started when old server DMs between Lava, who was a minor at the time, and Ava Chris Tyson were leaked showing that Ava was sending inappropriate and sexual conversations to Lava, which you cannot do with a minor. As a result, Ava Chris Tyson was being cancelled and decided to step away from Twitter and was fired by Mr. Beast. A statement from Jimmy says that he is aware of the allegations and is disgusted and opposed by what Ava was doing. Whether this is his PR team or him, he is aware of what's going on, and this is where Mr. Beast's involvement is seen. Allegedly, Mr. Beast was on the server with Ava Chris Tyson and knew the whole time that Ava was talking to minors and allegedly performing similar actions. As a result, this former Mr. Beast employees came out to expose the secrets behind the Mr. Beast company. One of which, which Dogpack404, who accused Mr. Beast of promoting gambling to kids and conducting illegal lotteries. In the United States, the age to gamble is 21. The majority of Mr. Beast's viewers are mostly minors, so by enticing the possible reward of an iPhone or an iPad, or even money or any other prize with selling a shirt, he is essentially promoting gambling as you take the risk to buy a shirt in hopes of a second reward, which the chances are slim to possibly none. This is essentially an illegal lottery as by definition, a illegal lottery needs to have three elements, a prize, opportunity, and consideration, which all those fit into Mr. Beast's shirt selling strategies. The FTC defines a lottery as containing three elements, a valuable prize, random chance, and consideration, which can be time or effort, but in most cases is just payment. On August 2nd, 2020, Mr. Beast livestreamed him and his friends signing limited edition shirts celebrating 40 million subscribers. Uh, and here are just some of the clips from that stream. For, for those of you who are just joining, if you buy one of our limited edition uh, 40 mil special shirts, we're celebrating 40 million subscribers with a really big video, then we will sign that shirt and some of them will get random prizes like this. Some of the people who actually won prizes allegedly did not receive the rewards. Some of the common complaints we see in threads about this live stream are that they only signed large t-shirts, so when they selected an order to give a prize, it was apparently always a large or extra large t-shirt. Uh, they kept saying things like buy in the next 15 minutes for a chance to win and then not honoring it. Multiple people claiming that their name was read to win a prize and they never received it. This person is still tweeting about it to this day. It is unbelievable that the largest YouTube channel is doing the most shady things online. Another allegation is that Mr. Beast fakes his signatures. In the same live stream where he signed shirts and gave away prizes, it can be seen that other crew members are signing with Mr. Beast's signature. I mean, the dude's not even hiding it, to be honest. So here's a clip of Tyler forging, or not, maybe not forging, using Mr. Beast's signature. So Tyler signs MB, which is Mr. B's signature. Then he covers it, signs his own initials, TC, smirks, looks around, and then quickly slides the shirt away. Could you make it any more- Ockpack 404 provides a lot of more evidence of this, and I'll link his video in the description below. I really recommend going check his video out. But another allegation is that Mr. Beast fakes his challenges. Allegedly, Mr. Beast's challenges always have a predetermined winner and that is not even a viewer. Some people who are invited, they were told they were actors rather than contestants who were not intended to win the challenge. In my mind, I'm thinking it's a fair game, mm -hmm. but it's not. If they were having problems finding people, they can see kind of what area you're in. Uh -huh. And they came to my area many times and I was in the smallest cupboard. <laughs> they had like big ones, medium ones, and small ones. I contorted this little four foot 10 body into the smallest space and I was in there for hours. <laughs> and they didn't even open the door because they were like, a person can't even fit in there. So they went in there oh and they God. opened all the cabinets and my heart was like, oh, they're gonna find me, they're gonna find me. <laughs> And then I could hear them saying like, she's not here. I don't know what you're talking about. Like she's not here. As I'm making this video, Mr. Beast uploaded a brand new video and there were so many dislikes and comments that are talking about the allegations that Mr. Beast has started to censor all the comments that are talking about the Ava T Chris Tyson situation or any of his legal gambling or recent allegations. And if you don't know, in YouTube studio, 
you can pick certain words that will be filtered out of the comment section. So I'm guessing what he's doing is either his people that are actually searching the chat and he has people and he has certain words filtered out, like probably Ava Chris Tyson or allegations or grooming or illegal gambling and lotteries. But you can see actually the people that are trying to get around and I'll show a few of those comments now. But it's honestly crazy that a person of Mr. Beast's size and backing by YouTube is doing some shady, shady things. There's a, a lot more to cover, but if this video does well, I'll go more in depth. And I really suggest checking out Dogpack 404's documentary on everything that's been going on with Mr. Beast. Anyways, what do you guys think?